Hey y'all, this is Brandy from Southern Crafts DIY and I want to say hey to all my returning viewers and then welcome to any new viewers. And of course, like always, if you follow me on social media, which the links are down below, you'll have seen a list of everything needed for this project. And what I'm going to do is a smaller version of what I plan on making for my mom. I'm going to make her a bracelet holder for the jewelry she makes. So I'm just going to show y'all a real quick way to how to do it and you can always make more. So we're gonna jump right in and get to it. All right, y'all, so the first thing we're gonna need is these two pack of wall shelves. You're only gonna need one of them, but you know, if you don't have one, you can do that. And then this, it comes in, I think it's a six pack. Mm, might be a four pack, I'm not sure, but um, it's just some little plaques you can get from Dollar Tree, so that's what you need. And you need a dowel. This one's already cut, and I think it'll work. Let me double check. Well, let me lie to y'all. Yeah. It should be fine. And if not, you just need a dowel. And I got them from Walmart. They actually now have two packs at Dollar Tree for $1.25. But you just need a dowel so you can do it. And you're gonna need a drill. Sorry. You're gonna need a drill. And of course a drill bit. You will need paint of your choice. I picked a Lilic from Folk Art Home Decor. It's a chalk paint. I picked that color because my mom's favorite color is purple. You're gonna need a paintbrush and you're gonna need wood glue and I'm gonna use my hot glue wood glue. So let's jump on in and get started. Oh, I'm sorry, you're gonna also need spackle. And of course, oh, what's it called? Sandpaper to sandpaper sack spackle. Sorry, when you get done. So let's jump right into it. All right, y'all, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna back with the holes because you do not need these holes now there's also the option that you can once we get to it I'm, but I'm just going to bring it up there in case I forget to say it later <coughs> after you wood glue the sides up you can also screw them so that they don't it just gives it extra protection I'm not doing that this should be fine with what I'm doing but it's always an option So we're just gonna let that dry and while we're doing that we'll move on to the next step. So I went ahead and I clipped the two pieces together and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a 3 8 drill bit and I'm gonna drill a hole and I hope this works. I suck at this so bad y'all. Just drill a hole through it. It's off center because I am horrible at this, but I'm not too worried. It works. The whole point is just to get a hole in there for the dowel. It's a little tight, but it'll loosen up. See, 
just play with it. It'll loosen up some. You don't want it so big you can't work with it, but you do want to be able to get the dowel in there. Say, look, it gets in there. All right. So I used a 3 8 and it's worked fine. So you can also measure, but I suck at that. I do a lot of my stuff freehand. All right, y'all. Now I went ahead and I sanded the holes. I don't really have a lot of place to do it, so I did, I did it off camera. So I'm gonna move on to the next step again while the um, spackle is drying. And I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna paint these pieces. One day, I might actually get stuff to go the right way, but you know, I think imperfect, I believe imperfections make the stuff so much better because no one's gonna have one that's off center because generally they use a machine and it's right. Well, I should say they're less likely to have one off center. So that means she's got something unique. just paint it and I'm gonna say again you can use whatever color you want I picked my mom's favorite color which is purple and again I'm gonna say again if you want to use the color I picked it is Lilic by Lilic Chalk Paint from Folk Art Home Decor
Alright, now we're just gonna let it dry and then we'll finish painting the rest of it. Alright, so this is pretty much dry, so we're just gonna go ahead and we're going to sand the spackle. Sorry. And we just wanna get it. And I know I'm doing this off camera, but I'm just sanding it down. And we just want to get it where it's flat. So we just pretty much seen excess off and get it smooth and then we're going to move on to the next step where we paint it. And of course we're going to paint it like we painted the rest. So, I had an idea, and you do not have to do this, this is completely just something I thought up and I want to do, so, I originally wasn't going to do this, but I think it's a really good idea, and what it is, is I'm going to add some legs to this. I'm just going to take some wooden beads and glue them to the bottom. And I just think that's going to be, I think it'll just put it over the top a little bit more, you know? So, that is something I want to do. So I've just got these, I can pick them up, these wooden beads, like I said, and I'm just going to paint them purple. And I don't care if I get paint on my fingers. If you don't like that, you can wear gloves. It does not bother me at all. Because I've always got paint on my fingers. So I'm just going to go through and I grab four of these beads, they're pretty big size. That one's rolling away.
think this just makes it look a tad bit nicer than not having the legs, but you don't have to do that. This literally popped in my head as I was doing this. So we're going to go ahead and finish painting everything and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, y'all, now that everything is dry, we're going to move on to the next step. And what I did was I took the two and I put my... dowel in it and I stuck them on the end and I marked the end of where I want it to be at so that I can go ahead and glue them on here. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And I messed it up. Sorry. This is hot glue so you got to do it fast. You take too long, it dries. So, and my hand was shaking a little, so it took me a little longer than I meant to take. I'm gonna do it like this real quick, y'all. So I have both ends marked of where I want the glue. Like I said, it's hot glue, so you need to hurry up and stick it on there so that it's on there. Right. I'm sorry, y'all. I thought I was in camera. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So all I'm doing is doing a strip of hot of the hot wood glue. On there and then I'm taking and I'm sticking it on there and then we're gonna let it dry but while we're doing that we can go to the next step and that's sticking our little leggies whatever you want to call them on to the bottom and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick it right where each one of the holes was just to make it easy to know where to glue it. Just makes it easier, y'all. Oops, sorry. I want it about even, so. Then we just gotta let it dry, and we're good to go. And that is literally it for this project. Look how it goes. I will take a picture of it with a bracelet on it, so you can some bracelets on it, so you can see what it looks like. But see how fast and easy that was and you can also do it if you're doing these small ones you can go this way instead of this way and you can put two of them there so it's more and you actually might be able to bring this down a little bit and do another one up here and then that would be two to four depending on how you do it you do one or two of these all right y'all i had so much fun on this project and i hope y'all enjoyed it and if y'all did, please, please, please like, share, subscribe, and comment because it does help my channel to grow. 
and I will see y'all next time. Bye.